In this lecture, we determine with the help of the software Mathematica the Petty approximation for a given function. Let f of x be the function whose Petty approximation we are seeking. Let r of x be the Petty approximation. r of x is the ratio between two polynomials p of x and q of x, where p of x equals the sum from p sub 0 all the way up to p sub n times x to the nth power while q of x is the sum of 1, q sub 1 times x, all the way up to q sub m times x to the mth power. The degree of the Petty approximation is the sum of the degrees of p and q, and so the degree of the Petty approximation is m plus n. In order to find the Petty approximation, we consider the degree m plus n Maclaurin approximation of f of x. Let a of x be this Maclaurin approximation. A of x is the sum of a sub 0, a sub 1 times x, all the way up to a sub m plus n times x to the m plus nth power. To find the coefficients of p and q, we set a of x minus p of x over q of x identically equal to 0. The resulting system of equations for the coefficients of the Petty approximation include the following set of equations. The sum from i equals 0 to k of q sub k minus i times a sub i equals p sub k, for k equals 0 all the way up to m plus n. We also have p sub n plus 1 all the way up to p sub m plus n all equal to 0, since the degree of p is n. The same is true for the coefficients q sub m plus 1 all the way up to q sub m plus n, since the degree of q is m. For the example, we take f of x to be the arctangent function, and we evaluate this input line. Then we set the degrees of p and q. Just for the sake of example, let the degree of p be 5, so n equals 5. And let the degree of q be 5 as well, so that m equals 5. And so the degree of the Petty approximation is 5 plus 5, or 10. Within this input cell, we will include the definition of the Maclaurin coefficients. There is a mathematical command for generating the Taylor series and of course the Maclaurin series of a function. We are not going to use that command, but instead use the very basic formula for the coefficients of the Maclaurin series. So we use a do loop to generate the Maclaurin coefficients. For the different a sub k's, we need the derivatives of f. Uppercase D is the mathematical command for differentiation. A sub k is the derivative of f with respect to x of order k. We also divide this derivative by k factorial. And we must not forget that we also have to evaluate this derivative at x equals 0. To plug in x equals 0 into this derivative, we type slash period x arrow 0. This must be done from k equals 0 to m plus n. Then we evaluate this input cell. The next thing that we do is to input the values of the Petty coefficients that are already predetermined. We use the do loop again. p sub k is 0 for k equals n plus 1 to m plus n. We do the same for q sub m plus 1 to q sub m plus n. There is one other predetermined coefficient, and that is q sub 0, which is equal to 1. Then we simply evaluate this input cell. Next, we generate these set of equations that we simply call equations. Since this is a system of equations, we use the table command. The left side is the sum of q sub k minus i times a sub i. And i goes from 0 to k. This should equal p sub k, and so for the equation, we use two equal signs. For the table, k goes from 0 to m plus n. 
When we evaluate this input line, we see what the system of equations looks like. We hide these equations by putting a semicolon at the end of the line and re-evaluating the line. Next is the set of variables that we are solving for. We call this set of unknowns variables. The set of variables is the union of two sets, and so we start the union with an opening curly bracket. The first set of unknowns are the piece of case. It's a set of unknowns, so we generate a table of piece of case k goes from 0 to n. The other set of unknowns are the q sub k's. Since q sub 0 is already equal to 1, this time k goes from 1 to m. We end this line with a closing curly bracket and evaluate. We are just about ready to solve for the coefficients. We just have to get rid of these inner curly brackets within variables by typing two slashes after the variables command and then flatten and evaluate. We type a semicolon again and reevaluate to tidy up the screen. We will put all the values of the PADI coefficients under the name coefficients. Coefficients is what we get when we solve the equations for the variables. We evaluate this line and obtain the PADE coefficients. In order for us to be able to input these values into the PADE approximation for graphing purposes, we use one method that requires getting rid of the inner curly brackets in the coefficients output. So again, we type two slashes the command flatten and evaluate. We tidy up the screen again. Now we define the PADE approximation, which we simply call PADE of x. The numerator of PADE of x is the sum of p sub k times x to the kth power with k starting from 0 and ending at n. The denominator is the sum of q sub k times x to the kth power, with k also starting at 0, and this time ending at m. To input the PADE coefficients, we type a slash, period, coefficients, and evaluate. And we have PADE of x. For comparison, we are also going to sketch the graph of the Maclaurin approximation. We had already defined the Maclaurin coefficients, and so the Maclaurin approximation a of x equals the sum of a sub k times x to the kth power, with k starting from 0 and ending at m plus n. We evaluate this line, and we have the Maclaurin approximation. Let's first compare the plots of f of x and the Maclaurin approximation. We sketch these functions over a trial x interval from x equals minus 4 to x equals 4. The radius of convergence of the Maclaurin series for the arc tangent function is 1, and so an interval from minus 4 to 4 gives us plenty of room. We also limit the y range of the plot between y equals minus 2 and 2. The range of the arc tangent function is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, and so a y interval from minus 2 to 2 gives us a little margin to see how the Maclaurin approximation diverges from f. We evaluate this input line. The blue curve is that for the arc tangent function. We can see the Maclaurin approximation diverging from f just beyond the radius of convergence of 1 of the Maclaurin series. Now let's insert the PADI approximation into this plot command. We evaluate the plot command. The green curve, which is that of the PADI approximation, stays close to f even when the Maclaurin approximation has already strayed far from f. Let's play with the code a little bit and change the degree of the PADE approximation. Let's change the degree of P from n equals 5 to n equals 8. 
And let's change the degree of Q from m equals 5 to m equals 10, so that the Paddy approximation will be of degree 8 plus 10 or 18. We evaluate all of the cells, starting with the cell where we have just made the changes in the values of n and m. Now we get this error message when we solve for the Paddy coefficients. It says 0 is not a valid variable. The reason for this error message is that Mathematica retained the previous definitions of the p sub k's and the q sub k's. Previously, the degree of p was n equals 5, and so p sub n plus 1 or p sub 6 was defined to be 0. Now with n equals 8, p sub 6 is now supposed to be one of the unknown quantities we are solving for. And so we actually ran our code to solve for 0 as an unknown, which of course doesn't make sense since 0 is 0. We fix this problem by clearing all previous definitions of p and q right before we start defining any p sub k and any q sub k. We evaluate this clear command. Then we re-evaluate all these subsequent cells. we get the Paddy approximation. And the Maclaurin approximation. And here we have the graphs of the three functions with what looks like the Paddy approximation providing a better approximation for f of x.